Hi guys! Today we'll be working on this doll ball gown. You can make this dress for any doll you want, and you can also use the same methods to make other dresses. I'll be working on this Barbie from the Made to Move collections because I really like how well they pose. Starting with the top, I cover the doll in kitchen fill and then regular tape so I can draw up the shape. Once you've drawn it on, you can cut out the pieces and then you have your pattern. This is a very simple method of making patterns for form-fitted clothing for your dolls. Next, pick your base fabric, trace on the pieces and then cut them out. Then sew the pieces together. I find it easier to do this by hand so you can make the curves match correctly. Cut away excess fabric at the seams and then seal the edges with this thin fabric glue to keep them from fraying. Then finish the top and bottom by folding over the fabric and sewing it in place. Try down the doll to make sure that your seam allowance will allow it to overlap in the back where we will be closing it later and then finish off the two back edges. Next I made the pattern for the skirt. I made five pieces. The first is a triangular center piece for the front, which is going to be a different fabric. Then you need four other pieces, two slimmer rounder ones for the front and then two wider ones for the back. I made this by measuring the waist of the doll, how long I wanted the skirt to be and also how wide I wanted it to be at the bottom. Trace them onto fabric and cut them out as well. Sew the front and back pieces together, being sure to leave a gap at the very back so the doll can still put it on. Fold over and sew the edges. Fix the edge on the front center piece as well before sewing it in place. When the skirt is done, put it on the doll, placing the top over it and mark off where the two meet. Then sew the two pieces together. Then we're ready to close the back with a piece of velcro. And there you go, that's a very basic dress. I wanted to add some off-shoulder sleeves, so I just drew around the arm on a piece of paper to make my pattern. Make sure your sleeves fit and then sew them to the top sides of the dress. Now for the decorations. I used some different types of lace, cutting out the pieces that I wanted to use and then painting them with some gold acrylic paint. Then I used fabric glue to add the lace to the dress. I also glued on some rhinestones for decoration.
For the necklace, I cut out another piece of lace, painted it gold, decorated with rhinestones, and then I glued on some embroidery thread so it could be tied in the back. And there you go, that's our ball gown done. I really like this color combination, but you can change up the design and colors to make it totally your own. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project, I know I did, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!